In this video, I'm going to show you how to use layer clipping to create a really interesting text effect where the text is going to be made up of the contents of a photograph. So um, let's get started. So I've got this picture of New York. Um, you've got the Empire State Building and, and so on. And uh, we're going to create the cover of a New York travel guide. So the first thing I'm going to need to do is I need to just get some text and I'm just going to write the words New York because it's New York is the text that I want this picture to form. So I'm just going to click and drag, make it really quite nice and big and type New York. Now don't worry if it doesn't fit on your screen or within your document, just select your text, find a font that you want to use and make sure that your text fits within your image. So it might be that you need to resize it slightly, in which case you can again select your text and resize it from the size menu here, or you can just use the deform tool on that particular layer, on your text layer to get your text to resize. Now once you've got your text in the right size, um, we need to convert this background layer, which was the base image, and we're just going to promote that to a layer so that we can move it around. So we can say promote to layer, and we're going to call it uh, NY, that'll do. Okay, and now I'm going to drag it above my text layer. And you'll see that my text disappears because the way that the layers work is that the topmost layer is the thing you see. But I'm now going to apply something called clipping uh, so that this top layer only appears where um, the layer underneath it has some content and isn't transparent. So I'm going to right click on my New York layer and I'm going to select clip to layer below. Okay, and so you can now see it's got rid of everything except where my New York text was. Now, because these layers are still independent, I can do some moving around and tweaking. So for example, with my New York clipped layer selected, I can choose my move tool and I can move it around so that I can get different bits of my image to show through the text. So I've got my Empire State Building just sticking through the E of New York and uh, now I'm going to add a background so that we can see this a bit more clearly. So I'm just going to add a new layer and I'm going to call this background and I'm going to drag it to the bottom and now with the background selected I'm going to use the fill tool and I'm going to choose a colour. So if I go to my colour picker uh, I'm going to choose a colour. Now if I just click, at the moment I've just got black, so I can click and fill and now you can start seeing, well the K kind of looks a bit lost, but um, let's try some different colours. For this travel guide I'd actually quite like a nice yellow colour, maybe similar to a New York taxi. So I click on the colour I want to change, on the foreground colour, the black, and I'm going to grab a sort of yellow colour. New York taxis are just slightly off yellow, slightly verging towards orange press OK and I'm going to try filling again and now you can see obviously all of the text really stands out. At this point I might want to make a few modifications as to the positioning of um, my image within there and now I need to add a little bit of text. I'm just going to add something like um, the real guide to New York. So I'm going to do another text uh, layer. This one's going to be a bit smaller. Let's say the real ah, it's picking up the same uh, foreground colour I previously had, so let me just click and select that. Change my text colour to black. Okay, here we go. The real guide to. Uh, now again, the font isn't very impressive. Uh, it's also a bit jaggy, so I'm going to say, where it says anti-aliasing, I'm going to change that to uh, smooth, to just smoothen it out a bit. And I'm going to change that font to something um, better. Okay. So the real guide to New York. Now let's say I wanted to move this text because it wasn't quite in the right place. And um, if I move it, let's say I click on my layer one which has my New York text. In fact, let's rename that layer so we know that. Let's do right click, uh, properties, and name it New York. I know it's text because it says text here. And let's, while we're at it, let's rename layer two to the real guide. That way I'll know very easily which bit of text is which bit. 
So let's say uh, I want to move this New York text. If I just select that layer, I've got my move tool. If I just drag and move, it should move the text. And it does, but it doesn't move the image underneath it. And that's not quite ideal. So I want to move this image, my background image, and the text together. So if I click on my background image, hold the shift key on my keyboard and click on the New York text layer, I can now right click and group those layers together. They're now in a group and now if I have the group selected and I move, then they move together. So now I can reposition this slightly on my page. I can change my real guide to text and move that. In fact, I might want to add the real guide to into that group. So I can just drag and drop it into that group. Oops. And I could even name this group text. So now all of my text is in a single group that I can move around. So now I can position that perfectly on the page. Now I'm just going to make this look a bit more official. I'm going to add a little barcode here. Uh, now for that, I've got um, some barcodes open in Google Images. Uh, this one looks fine, so I'm going to click through to the original. And this is um, an SVG file, so it needs to be in PNG format, really. So I'm going to make sure I click one of these. This image is rendered in PNG links. So I'm going to click on that. That gets my PNG. I can't quite see it because it's a black barcode on a black background. But if I right click and save that, then I can save uh, my PNG file. And I can now, from my downloads folder, I can drag that barcode into my document and I can click and move it and place it wherever I want. It's a little bit large, so I'm going to use the deform tool to make it smaller. And to make it stand out even more, I'm going to put a white background behind it. Now, because my group text was uh, selected when I imported that, it's added my um, barcode to that text group. Um, but I don't really want that, so I'm just going to drag it out of the group. Okay. So now I've got my uh, barcode thing. Let's just add a little white box behind that so it sort of stands out. So let's go to here where I've got my quick shapes. I'm going to choose a rectangle. Make sure I've got the color set to or white. And I can just draw a box and I need to move my barcode on top of it. And I can just move that slightly. And I can even select those two elements. So I click on the barcode, hold shift, click on the, the shape layer beneath it, right click, group those. And if I double click on group one, I can call that barcode area. Okay. And now I could just do some final moving around. So let's just move that text one more time, maybe. And my barcode area is fine there. And there you go. I've created a kind of a book cover for a travel guide to New York using an image of New York as the background to my text, using um, layer clipping um, on my image and text to create this effect. And then I've just shown you a few extra little techniques grouping layers and so on, just to build a more interesting piece of artwork.